Hey. First of all, congratulations on signing with the UFC. How does it feel to be here, getting your kit, the whole experience? Uh, it's, a, it's a dream come true. That's, that's for sure, dream come true. Everything I expected and uh, a lot more also. So how did this fight come about? Like, what was, you know, did your manager call you? Was it something you were working on? Can you kind of tell us how, how it happened? Uh, I had just got back from training. I was actually sitting on my computer. Uh, you know, I, I game it a lot, so outside of training. So I was training. I was literally gaming it, and all of a sudden I get a call from my manager. Gets me on a conference call with, uh, with Mar my other manager, Marcos, and uh, he told me, he's like, hey, man, the call's here. I've been telling you. I hope you've been ready. I hope you're staying ready. And uh, after that, he told me that I was going to be facing a veteran. Uh, and a legend, so I, I automatically assumed because I'd make making call outs to uh, Donald Cerrone beforehand, you know, a couple months before that. And uh, he's like, nah, you're going to face another guy, he's possibly going to retire. It's not for sure. And then he told me it was Jim Miller, and I was super psyched. I was like, yo, just send me the contract right now. I'll sign it, whatever we got to do. And it was a 10 day notice, so I found out last Wednesday. And uh, ever since then, I've just been grinding nonstop two, three days. So you've already made a little bit of history. I'm not sure if you're aware that um, the 38 fight gap is um, the longest in UFC history. Was there any, it doesn't sound like there was any hesitation when you heard the name. No, not at all. Uh, if anything that, uh, you know, I have so much, so much to gain and I have nothing to lose. You know, I just got to go out there and put on a show and, uh, you know, the goal is to take him out. You know, I know he's a legend, a veteran. I have so much respect for Jim Miller, but, you know, I'm here to win and I'm here to take over. And I think that uh, the Ghost Pepper era is going to be coming. Did you watch him growing up? Like, was that somebody you followed and were a fan of? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I was. Uh, you know, when I was in high school, I was watching him. So it's, it's pretty crazy to know that I'll be fighting a guy that has been around for so long. And, uh, I, you know, I'm definitely a fan of Jim Miller, without a doubt. So talk to me about the matchup. How do you think it'll go? Uh, you know, matchup-wise, he's, he's a very, you know, high-level grappler. Um, I think that he's going to try to take me out of the ground. So, you know, my game, you know, as far as game plan and what I'm going to go and when I go in there is keep my distance and, uh, you know, really just making it a war. Uh, that's what I'm good at. I love engagements. And uh, if it hits the ground, I'll be ready. You know, I've been drilling nonstop on every single aspect that he's good at. So I don't think I'll have any trouble when it hits the ground. Um, I'm very underrated with the grappling. A lot of people think that, you know, my grappling probably is the best just because I've been submitted twice in my career and I've only had one submission. But, you know, uh, if you ever grapple with me, a lot of people will tell you, man, I'm a high-level grappler as well. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. So obviously uh, UFC debut is exciting enough, but I mean main card as well. Does that add anything to it, or does position on a card even mean anything to you? Oh, hell yeah, man. That, that, that adds, that's like the cherry on top of the cake, you know. Uh, that's a, an amazing opportunity. I didn't find out until actually my mom sent me the actual news that I was on the main card, he sent me a picture and I was just like, I was like, wait, how the hell did you find this out before I did? And uh, no, nah, man, I, it's, it's awesome. And uh, I expect to put on a show, man. I want to impress the fans and I want to get new fans and I want to make some noise. So that's, that's, to be on the main card is absolutely a gift and a, and a blessing itself. And doing media, I mean, obviously a lot of guys don't do media on their first week of, you know, UFC debut. So, I mean, does this add excitement? Does it add nerves? Is it just a pain in the ass? What, what is it? No, man, this is all exciting. This is super, super exciting, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very blessed, man. I've been working so hard. I've been started seven years ago. My dream was to get UFC before I hit 30. I'm 29, man, and I, get, I turned 30 in January. And, uh, you know, this is the media and all this stuff is just so, so exciting to me. You know, I probably, I'm pretty sure some veterans are probably like, oh, another media day. No, nah, man, I'm fresh. I'm a fresh, I'm a fresh newbie. I'm a, I'm a debuter. So to have this as my, my first fight and be on the main card, to, to have uh, this type of publicity and this type of marketing, is, it's absolutely insane. It's absolutely it's so cool, man. Yeah. Obviously, a lot of people are going to say, look, man, Miller's, you know, one of the most experienced guys ever to do it. And, and you're getting here the first time, so, you know, he's got this experience advantage. But I guess there's a flip side in that you've probably seen him fight, you know, 20, 30 times. I'm guessing he probably hasn't seen you fight. No offense to that, you know. I mean, do you, do you, do you think that that plays into you as an advantage? Because, like, you, you probably know exactly what he's going to do when he gets in there. Uh, you know, I know what to expect, so I definitely have a, an edge on that. You know, I know what he likes to do. I know what his favoritisms are. I'm a, I'm a big, when it comes to f my next opponents, I always study film, man. My coach and I are just studying film. And, uh, you know, I know what he loves to do. And, I, like, yeah, you're probably right. He probably hasn't seen my fights. But I think that uh, 
a veteran like himself won't make that mistake of not watching footage on me. You know, there's footage out there on me everywhere. So, you know, if he wants to just look me up real quick, you can find me on YouTube. And, uh, you know, I don't think he'd go out there knowing, going out there without knowing what he's facing. So I'm sure he's, he's seen some sort of film or something or his coaches or someone in his corner. So I think that I do have a slight advantage as far as uh, what he likes to do because I know what he's accustomed to and I know what he does. So... Uh, I know what to expect, and I'm just going to go in there, have fun, and enjoy every single moment, every second, and embrace everything. That's awesome. And what's the hope? I mean, is the hope to just, hey, let's get in there and get a win by whatever means necessary, or do you feel like you want you got to come in there and, you know, with this platform, like do something spectacular, make a splash in, in your debut? Man, hell no, man. I'm going to go in there and just, just freaking, I'm going to knock him out, man. I'm going to go in there and TKO him. I'm just, that's my goal, man. Uh, you know, no, no disrespect to Jim Miller, you know, because I know he probably will hear this, but. Uh, you know, my goal is to go in there and just finish in, in a de devastating manner, man. I love my elbows, so, you know, uh, if it hits the ground and I get on top, man, he's going to expect he's gonna expect a lot of fucking elbows. Nice. Last thing for me, you get this thing done. What's what's the plan moving forward? I mean, do you, do you go on, like, this legend smashing tour or something? Like, just give me everybody that's the most experienced out there, or, or what's what's the plan? Hey, man, if they offer me another veteran, another legend, man, I'll, I'll take it, man. No problem, without a doubt, man. You know, if not many guys would get that opportunity, and I'm one of – Probably the one, probably like the only one so far that I can recall off the top of my head. So if they want to give me another veteran, another another legend after this, but I got to get through this fight first, and that's that's you know that's my number one goal right now. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.